Hi, it's Phil from TeachBlend, and in this video, we're going to look at Flipgrid new feature, which is public text-based responses. So before, you was able to, and so were other students, able to respond to videos using another Flipgrid video. Now what you can do is you can actually respond to these videos and provide peer assessment, feedback, all using text-based comments. It also works with Immersive Reader. So let's have a look at how we do this. So as you can see, I'm in Flipgrid now, and you can either do this by creating a new topic or editing existing topics. In my example, I'm going to edit an existing topic, which is just an about me Flipgrid. Once I'm in here and I'm on my about me, I'm going to click the edit button. Now, this is the screen that you'll see if you are creating a new topic as well. So they're exactly the same if you're editing or, or creating a new topic. You'll see the various options, but under comments now, you'll see some extra ones. So you can have video and text comments, video comments only, text comments only, or none. If you choose one with text, this will allow you to do the new feature, which is text-based comments. So I'm now going to update my topic. What you'll see now is my responses, and as either a student or as a teacher providing feedback to these videos, you'll now see the comment box. And in here, you are now able to provide text-based comments to students, or students may provide text-based comments back to their peers. Now, this is really, really useful for both teachers and for students, as it provides another method of being able to actually communicate with learners and your students. You can still, if you've got video paste enabled, be able to provide video based comments as well as. Now, what you can also do as a teacher is hide various comments from the other individuals in the class and activate these. And you are also able to delete comments. So again, this is really useful and it ensures your students are safe. Another great feature you can do for both students and staff is enable Immersive Reader directly inside of those comments. So, for example, this is really accessible for students if they haven't able to respond to a video-based comment. They could actually use the text-based comment one as an alternative. I hope you did find this video useful, and if you did, please remember to like and subscribe to TeachBlend. It really does help. Thank you.